Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Casper Planetarium Astronomy Podcast. My name's Rod. I'm your host this evening. Uh, what we wanted to do, and I think the sky is clearing off a little bit out there right now, which is kind of nice, because if the sky clears off uh, after sunset, and we're talking about 7.15 local time here, if you go out, if your sky happens to be clear where you happen to be go out and you'll apologize for the lens flare here but that's the way the software uh, does its thing but if you look to the west if you look up here in the sky you will be able to see two objects very close together uh, the moon and the planet Venus the planet Venus will look kind of like an airplane coming into land uh, the moon will be pretty obvious. Now, if we select the moon there, and I'm going to center on the moon, tonight the moon is at what we call waxing crescent phase. So if we zoom in on the moon here a little bit, we will see a crescent shape. It looks uh, like a crescent roll or a letter C. And the reason we call it a uh, waxing crescent moon is because it is to the left of the sun the sun would be down this direction and it's lit up on the right hand side now if tonight the moon is only at about 11 percent illuminated so it's going to be pretty thin looking in the sky but if you go out right after sunset if your sky is clear you're going to see another phenomenon going on. Now you'll notice here we can see all of our moon here on our simulator. Well that's a real phenomenon. That is a phenomenon we call earth shine. If you go out into the real sky you'll actually be able to see the entire disk of the moon. And if we zoom in a little bit we can see the brightly lit part but you should be able to see the entire disk of the moon. And the reason for that is the same, for the same reason that we see the moon lit up in the first place. The moon is lit up because it reflects light from the sun. But you got to remember, uh, both the Earth and the moon are uh, in space being shined upon by the sun. The sun is shining sunlight onto the Earth. Even though it might be nighttime for us here in Casper or the Western Hemisphere, our planet is a sphere, it's lit up on half of one half of it, and some of that light gets reflected back out into space and reflects back onto the surface of the moon. Let's look at that a little closer here. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. Excuse me, that's the wrong one. There we go. There's kind of earth shine. So if you go out, here's a now this is a slightly different crescent moon. This is a day or two later. But you can see the entire disk of the moon. Some of that moonlight, or some of that light reflecting from the Earth back onto the moon's surface, and it usually only we only uh, we see it uh, only in those first few days that it's a waxing crescent. By the time we get to first quarter moon, uh, it's no longer in an angle where that's possible. And we'll talk about moon phases here again. In our next podcast, which will uh, appear next week, uh, we are, I am uh, getting us ready to uh, do a live, <clears throat> a live star, virtual star walk. Uh, I'm figuring out how to do that. Uh, keep an eye out on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, and I will uh, work on seeing if I can't broadcast a live tour of the night sky that you can tune into. Sort of like going to the planetarium, but not quite as good. So, thank you for tuning in. We'll see everybody uh, next time. Keep an eye out. Go out and see if you can see the moon. Thanks for tuning in.